As requested, here's a full tutorial on how we can automate social media posting. So this video is for you if you are tired of being consistent on social media to create postings every day or every week on a specific hours. I'm going to show you the system where you can automate the entire process. Well, for specific use cases, but let's dive into this and see how it works. So how does it actually work with this automation? And the main motor in this automation is make.com. So this is a tool that can help us to automate some processes. It can connect different tools together to create a flow of work. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing. So you can make your own account at make and um, once you have your account, you can actually create a couple of scenarios totally for free. Let's start with new account and let's go through the entire build. So you can also follow step by step how I'm making it and you can do the same. And that's a very decent way how to learn how to use this tool. Because the opportunity here, of course, beside this particular automation is that you can learn to make those automation flows and you can create extend the bills and build some totally different automations. Let's look how it's done for this particular flow. Follow my steps and you can learn how to do it as well. So once you are logged in at make.com, you can create a new scenario and it will look like this and it will ask you um, for the first initiator. So it's basically a trigger of what is going to be triggering the action, the entire sequence uh, of workflow that we're going to be creating. And for that, we're going to be choosing Google Sheet. And once you pick Google Sheet, it will ask you to connect to your Google Sheet. Follow the instructions and it will connect. Basically, the make.com will be connecting to Google Sheet so it can read the files on your Google Drive. It's also possible to use a different system instead of Google Sheets. For instance, Airtable is available as well, but I'm using Google Sheets. It works for me and it can also work for you. Once it's connected, then we can scroll down to see different options and add sheet clear, create a row. And what we are looking for is actually watch new rows like this. Let me just show you the file here. So once we have a file on the Google Drive, we can double click it. And here is going to be a simple sheet that is going to be a place where we can add news articles. So it's going to be reading those articles that we're going to be adding to this sheet and it will make those into social media posts. So that's the flow, how it's going to be functioning. This is going to be the triggering document that is going to be reading on a sequence that we're going to set it up for on, on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, whatever is needed. So that's the document. It's as simple as this. It's just saying new links and here we're going to be adding the documents, right? So that's what we are connecting to. So once connected, search by path, my drive, that's so fine. And here we have a the option to find this spreadsheet that I just show you. So I have make automation folder and plus again here. And here we see new links for social media automation. So I can pick that. It reads the document and now we can pick the sheet one. So it's different sheets. We just you pick it's from the sheet one. Table contains header. Yes, it does. Rows with the headers. That's so fine. And limit, we're just going to put one. And that's limit for how many rows it's going to be reading at a time. And we just want one single row with one single link on it to be read every time. So one here and OK. And like this, we have set up a trigger. Now we can add the next step. This step is interesting um, as it is. We're going to be using perplexity. So search for perplexity AI. And the reason why we're using perplexity, it's the only tool here. Well, at least to my knowledge, perplexity is the tool that is that can read the Internet. Open AI, ChatGPT and Claude cannot access the Internet through make AI. So perplexity can. So we're going to be using that because it's, it's actually quite good at this for this automation. So create a chat completion with perplexity AI. And here you will also have to connect 
your own um, API key, create a user and perplexity. And this is amazing search engine, a, a really good competitor to Google. So you can use it for that purpose as well. But what we are interested in is to creating the API. So you will have to pay a little bit for using this service. But I think at the back end, it pays really much off when we can create automation like this. So once you create a perplexity account, so once you're logged into Perplexity, it looks like this. What you can do is go into this icon here and go under API. And here you will have access to put some funds on your account. And once you have that, then you have access to generate API keys. And that's what we need to connect. Basically, API keys will allow this connection happen. So you can copy then this, this API key, go to make and insert API key into perplexity connection here. And then you will be able to create a chat completion. And that's what we want. For that, we can use a so, um, Lama 3, Sona Small 32K online is so fine. Max tokens here. We just, I think we don't need to add anything. Actually, it should be working. Maybe it's going to work just with this setting here uh, and the message. We would like to add something content. And here we're basically this is the prompt that we're going to be sending to perplexity to act upon. And what we're going to do here is summarize the article in this link so we can write like this and then we need to direct it to the link where, where does it actually find the link and that's where connection to the Google sheet comes in. So here we press this news links a because then what it's going to be doing is reading the next row of that sheet that we connected from Google Drive and the role is user and let's see and here we will have a chance to try it out let's press OK and we can do a simple run just to test this sequence how well it actually performs run And you can see it working. It is completed this one. And there's also number one here. So it actually seems to be completing. So it read. We can we can click. This is the way you're basically testing it and seeing the results. We can press here and see, OK, it read the article. Perfect. And then we have a perplexity AI. Let's click here and see what it actually if summarizing. Um, walk through and the way you're reading this is input is here this is where from Google sheet what came in and the output is the output of perplexity that it delivers to us and we here we can use usage you know, choices one message content it's not totally straightforward it's not as simple overview uh, regarding user experience but that's where we find the output and here we go it read the article and created a summary of the article. So that's the summary of the article that we shared with it through Google Sheet. Perfect. It works. So now we can go further to the next step. And the next step would be to add a router, a flow control. And we can do that by flow control and we create a router. What a router does, it can split the flow so because we're going to be working on generation for several social media so we can split the flow accordingly and we can even add more branches to it but let's start with this simple one so now we have a summary of the perplexity of the article now we can starting working on it to create a specific post for social media and what we're going to be doing there is using chat gpt through api as well so plus and we can open AI or chat GPT click here and create a completion. And here again, you will have to connect to your API of the open AI. So that's basically those two connections um, with API that you will need in order to 
power this system because you will actually it will charge you a small amount of money a few cents to create the completion both for perplexity and also for chat gpt so click this link and this is going to direct you to open ai api connections here you also will need to add a little bit of funds uh, to it and then you will be able to create a secret key just like this and let's say it's a new key for make.com and let's just call it test assistant that's so fine for this case create a secret key and it will create this key for you so it knows that it connects to OpenAI through this particular key so it can charge you those few cents it costs to generate transition copy that and then you can insert your API key in this connection here and proceed with the automation flow okay so once API key is inserted you will have option to do this and we want to create a completion that's so fine model we're going to be using let's pick the latest one that's the best one and role user and message content and here's a bit more interesting because here we actually want to create a little role for ChatGPT. we want to create a little bit more custom prompt to make sure that the generated content is good like we know from just um, creating a solid prompt for ChatGPT to get the desired results we can also direct it here so this is our chance to do it okay and for this case i'm just gonna use a prompt like this this is gonna be a linkedin post so i'll share it here act as an online business owner and create ultra short reflective linkedin post for entrepreneurs based on the article and here we would like to add where does it actually get the article right and that going it taking it to the previous step of perplexity ai mm -hmm. and to connect that we can see the output from perplexity so once we click here we have a chance to pick and here it shows and it also shows that it's a uh, pulsating here it's because that's where we're gonna get the data and here we go into choices messages and content and we can see it's starting to write the content here that's a verification so we can click content here and it adds those so it's going to be every time it runs automation it's going to be picking up on this summary from this particular run on perplexity perfect so now we have the prompt set up and max tokens we can add max tokens to it as well i believe it's maybe necessary even here yeah look so here it is necessary to add the tokens it's how many tokens it's going to use to generate the content and we're going to just add 2000 tokens so it's not gonna go over that limit to create the content okay so that's set up and now we're gonna do the same but now this is gonna be for a Facebook post instead so again chat GPT enter create a completion that's what we want it is already connected that's perfect model the latest one add a message role we're gonna use the user and message content i'm gonna copy another and basically it's a prompt that is already has some example to it and um da -da 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 -da. act as an online business owner reflective facebook post on the article so here we will need to add the article as well like we did in the previous step and here we pick the same article from perplexity but now it's going to be doing it for a facebook post instead so we go on to choices again it's pulsating here that's the where we're going to get the input and messages content and it appears here again that's why it's going to be reading the content great and if we go down at the bottom we can also put 2000 tokens as maximum that it should use in order to generate content and now we can actually already here run a test again let's see how it works now it's working here it found and it stops you see here's an interesting it doesn't take it to the next step and it's because we are missing 
articles. In what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to copy the same article several times here. Then we can run this automation. Yeah, because this Google Sheet is set up to watch the new rows. And if there's no content on the next row of the document, there's going to be no generation. Now I added more links to that sheet. So we should be able to proceed with the test run. Let's do it again. So now it should be reading number row number two. All right, it completed and you see it goes to the next one. Now it's sending it to the chat GPT to create a post. You see it's completed here as well. And now it goes for um, for the next one here. It completed. All right. But we, to verify the testing, I think the testing here is important because you might be doing this uh, on a repetitive basis in the beginning here just to figure out how everything is working. And it's good to see if you are actually getting the results. Testing is important. So input um, and here we go. We have an output, so choices, one message and content. And you see, this is the output it created this article based on the perplexity summary. So it's perfect. So it works for LinkedIn. And here is our message for the Facebook. And again, we go under choices, one messages, content. And here we go. We have a post for Facebook as well. And of course, an interesting part here, it's not just that this is content is going to be perfect for your particular case. Interesting thing is to create a system where you can test it out in depth to make sure that you're actually creating content with those that you want to post, that you want to share with your audience, whether you're a content creator or a business owner, you want the output to be perfect because once it runs automatically, it's just going to be posting it consistently. And maybe you're not going to be present there to verify the output of the model. So therefore, what I will advise you and I will show you how to do it is to test the output over several days. So you are familiar with the flow and can stand in for the quality of the output for your social media. All right, but here we have the output. So it works. It can actually read the row in the sheet. It sends it to perplexity for summarization. That's perfect. And then it creates two separate posts for different social media. But before we add a social media, I will do a test um, set where you can see how it's possible to set it up for test run and here we're going to be using docs google docs and create a document so this is a an interesting one because it it allows us to test it out and set it up in a way that we are creating this flow uh, every day and see the output adjust the model adjust the prompting so we get the desired output so in here I will be creating a new document and I want to name it. And the name I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it the date. Then it's easier to, to see when this document was created, what time, content. And again, we're going to be just picking generated um, content from the model before. Here we go. And this one is for LinkedIn. So I'm going to be choose the document my drive. And I'm going to be, I created a folder for make automation. And then I created a folder for social media output posting and for LinkedIn output. So let's add it like this. Then it's going to create a new document once it runs and it's going to put those documents into those folders. And then over a sequence maybe of five articles, five days or 10 articles, you can walk through those articles and read them and make sure that it lives up to the quality that you want. And I'll add one more here plus icon, create a document name. And here we're going to again use the, the date. That's so fine content. And here we're going to be using this lower icon choices, message, no message and content. That's what I'm more. Oh, I might have, I had it a bit too many here. Let's do it again. You can just delete it and then click once again. Once you have those, then it should create that content in, within the document and where to add it. 
make automation, social media, and for this one, we're gonna go with Facebook output. So like this, we have created a flow where it can, before it connects to social media, we're gonna be creating those documents. So it's basically to ensure the quality. Run the sequence, it read the document, creating summary, routing it to the LinkedIn creation. And now it creates a document. And this one is ready. Amazing. We will check it in a moment. We'll see. And here's one for Facebook. We have one completion here. Check. And here we go. Let's see if it actually worked. So here's the Google Drive social media output test. And I have those two folders for the test for Facebook and LinkedIn. So let's see the LinkedIn. And here we go. That's the article that we just created. If we double click on that, we get this post. So you can read through it and see if it lives up to your expectations. Perhaps it's through the structure of the entire post, hashtags, the way it's written. Do you want to have a uh, symbols in the post or not, you can add all of that or add standard questions. So you can adjust all of that within prompt where you, um, where you have a chance to, to add this modifier here, message content. That's the main role and prompt creation. So that way you have it. So it worked. And let's see for Facebook post as well. We have in this folder also a document. And here we have a short posting that is ready for Facebook. It did create two social media posting based on the summary of the article that we gave to it. So that's perfect. Test complete. And then we can take it to the next stage. So this is an interesting stage because here we actually get to connect it to the Facebook and LinkedIn or other social media that are interesting for you is also possible. I'm going to show you how often this setup is going to be triggered. And to control this, we can actually go schedule settings down here. And right now it says for 15 minutes, but I'm seeing an opportunity of doing on the every day. If I have an article, news article that I find very interesting, um, I could add it, populate the list and it will do this automation on a daily basis. So every day is picked and what time you can write that and click OK. And like that, it will run this test scenario every day. This will give you opportunity to test this uh, setup and see the output before you're actually connecting it to the social media. So, but once you are ready to connect to the social media, then you can delete module and delete module. And instead we can add LinkedIn. And within LinkedIn, so it will also ask you once you push the LinkedIn for the first time to connect to your LinkedIn account. So you actually log into the LinkedIn and allow it to post on your behalf. So, and here we have create a user text post. So we click that and the content, and we again take the content from this message as we did before, like this media type article. Or well, media type is fine if it has nothing. Visibility public, main feed, that's all fine. And that setting is also okay. Great, like this, it should be, instead of creating a document, it will go directly to create a LinkedIn post on the social media. Okay, we'll add the same for Facebook now. So Facebook, and then it will ask you which page you would like to post to. I'll pick Roman Martins as the, this page and message again, going into doo -doo -doo, choices, messages and content like this. And this is the flow. And now we can test it if it actually works for the social media run once. It creates a summary, routes it to LinkedIn post creation and post it on LinkedIn. Wow. And then it goes further to 
ChatGPT for Facebook creates and it should be posted on Facebook. Let's see if it actually worked. So here's the profile, the page that we chose for, for the creation. I'm refreshing the page and here we go. Just now it posted this article. So that worked perfectly. Facebook is working and let's see how well it works for LinkedIn. And here we go. It actually created the post for LinkedIn as well. And everything automatically. It works. Connection is working. It actually created the post for LinkedIn and Facebook. And it will be checking this document with this setup. Once we are scheduling is on, it's going to be doing it on a daily basis. The only thing you will have to do is to populate the sheet with the new news articles that you find relevant for your audience. So that is a simple setup. If you have several social media platforms beside LinkedIn and Facebook, you can play with the router and add another function here and add, add for instance, X or Instagram or perhaps some other media that you can find through this make platform. So this is how you can set up this automation for social media posting for yourself. Go play with it, try it out. There's some interesting learnings and this system is versatile. You can build very long flows doing various automations back and forward between your tools that you might be using on a daily basis. But this one is amazing use case scenario. I found it very useful and I think it could be very useful for you as well. Use it, follow the steps and apply it into your workflows. I'm Roman Martins. I'm an engineer and AI entrepreneur, and I help businesses to apply AI tools to their operations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.